Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome if you're new. I'm Cheryl, this is Table Full of Joy. And friends, I have an exciting video today. We are going to a birthday party for a sweet six-year-old this afternoon. And I am making the cupcakes for that. I'm also making a couple of snacks to bring. We're just doing a snack type party, nothing super formal or anything like that. But I have a couple of fun recipes for the cakes today. So I'm gonna do a candy corn. I know candy corn's controversial, not everybody loves it. But I am doing a candy corn colored cupcake. So it's gonna be orange on the bottom, yellow in the middle, and white frosting on top. And we're gonna decorate it with some candy corn candies. I'm using a box cake mix. I grabbed this one on Clarence. So we're gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna take part of this batter out and I'm gonna dye it two different colors. I'm gonna dye it, it's already kind of yellow, but I want a little bit more vibrant yellow. So I'm gonna put some yellow food coloring in it. And then I'm gonna dye the other one orange. So we end up with those two layers put them in our cupcake pans, toss them in the oven, and that one is done and ready to go. We're also gonna make a carrot cake because carrot cake big, is big in my family. We all love carrot cake, so I'm gonna make a carrot cake. And we are going to uh, decorate that with just, it's supposed to be some little candied pumpkins. I tried to get those from the store, they didn't have any. So I'm gonna stop at the store on the way to the birthday party and see if I can get some. If I can't, then I'll just put candy corn on everything It'll be fine. It's not. A, it's not going to be a huge um, crisis if I don't have the little candy pumpkins. Um, we're also doing my grandmother's onion dip. I was asked to bring that, as I've told you guys before. I've made that on my channel many times. It is a recipe that I'm asked to bring to every get together. <laughs> Everybody loves it. And last but not least, we are making a seven layer dip. The seven layer dip that we are making is in the shape of a jack o' lantern on a tray. So super excited to share these recipes with you. Let's get this cake mix in the oven. Get this one done so we can move on with our cupcakes. I have not even gotten ready yet for the day <laughs> because it is a costume birthday party. And so I am gonna go get ready here in just a little bit. I did not wanna wear my costume while I was trying to um, make these cakes. So we're gonna do, this cake mix is different. It's a Dolly Parton one. I've never made this one before, but it calls for four eggs, one and a half cups of milk and 10 tablespoons of melted butter. So we've got our four eggs here. I just melted some butter. I was gonna make a yellow cake mix or make a yellow cake from scratch, but I thought, why? I've got this cake mix. That's part of the reason why I stash cake mixes in my pantry is so that I have them for things like this when I wanna make a cake really quick. And I've got other things to do. Um, I had a pretty bad headache last night and so I went to bed pretty early and I did not get any of this stuff done last night. So I'm getting it done today. <laughs> we have to leave the house here pretty soon for the birthday party. So I'm gonna try really hard to get all of these things baked, get the cupcakes decorated so that we can get out the door. All right, so here's our 10 tablespoons of melted butter along with our eggs and our milk. Give this a really good mix. And then like I said, we've got food coloring and we're gonna split this into two different bowls so that we can get our color correct for our candy corn. I'm kind of excited to try this cake mix. I've seen a lot of people using the Dolly Parton cake mixes before, but I have never tried one myself. And that's what I was telling you a while, or if you guys follow me, that's what I was telling people a while ago is, I love finding things on Clarence. It gives me an opportunity to try something that I haven't tried before. All right, so there's our cake mix. I've got my other bowl right here. We're gonna get this split. I'm gonna use a toothpick to mix in my food coloring. I'm just gonna split this in half, or as close to half as I can get it. This is pretty yellow, but it's not quite vibrant enough for me, so I wanna, I still wanna put a little bit of food coloring in it. Let's see where we're at. I think that looks pretty good. I think we're pretty much half right there. So this is a lemon yellow gel food coloring. I 
get that off my toothpick. Let's mix this one around and see what color we come up with. just a tiny bit more. I actually like working with gel food colorings better than the liquids myself. I think that is right where we want to be with our yellow. That looks great. Let's just make sure we have it all mixed in. There's a few little streaks of orange. I'm not going to worry about it because candy corn is never perfect. All right, so this one we're going to do orange. This one is a, what they call a golden yellow. So let's scrape some of this off. Right, let's see how close we can get to orange. We're getting pretty close. I think I want to put just a tiny bit more. I am going to have to wash my hands. All right, let's get this last little bit of food coloring mixed in, and I think we're going to be good. Then we're just going to split our batter be between our muffin cups. As I said, our white is going to be our um, frosting. All right, let's get our yellow batter put in here. Got my oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna give our pan a quick little tap just so we can make sure we get our yellow down on the bottom. Now we're gonna put our orange on top and just kind of spread this out. We wanna kind of give it a little bit of a push on here just so we get it fully covered up. Otherwise, we're gonna have our yellow come up around our orange and we don't want that. We want those to be nice and separated. These are going in the oven 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Friends, I just pulled one pan out. Look at these. They are 
beautiful. Those are just absolutely gorgeous cupcakes. So excited about those. Let's get our carrot cake ones going so we can get them in the oven. I've got my other oven down below preheated and ready to go for these muff or muffins, these cupcakes. The other pan for this one is in the top oven. Let's get these done because we still need to get our onion dip done and we need to get our seven layer dip ready to go because we need to get out of here and get to a party. So this is a super easy recipe. It is one and a quarter cups of all purpose flour. There's our flour. We need one teaspoon of baking soda. And this recipe calls for a lot of spices because it's a carrot cake. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna use pumpkin pie spice. It has all of the same spices that you're gonna put in a carrot cake, but it's all in one. And so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of our um, pumpkin pie spice instead of getting out the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the cloves and all the things. We're just gonna go a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and call it good with that. We're trying to make less work, friends. We need just a little bit of salt because salt is so important in baking. All right, I'm gonna use my whisk and just kind of get this whisked up just a little bit just to lighten everything up together. And then we're gonna get our wet mixture ready to go. So I've got a quarter cup of vegetable oil I'm going to use my whisk to kind of get that cleaned out. We need four ounces or a half a cup of applesauce. And I just happen to have these little applesauce cups. I got these on clearance. I love to have these on hand when I'm baking because I don't, we don't eat a lot of applesauce and I don't want to have to open an entire jar. We need two eggs. little bit of vanilla we're gonna whisk these together and then we're gonna add this to our dry as I said this is a super easy recipe goes together really really quick I'm gonna add my wet to my dry. We're gonna very carefully fold these together. I'm making a mess. We've got our one and a half cups of carrots. I'm gonna get those put in. I'm just gonna very carefully fold those carrots into our batter. This already smells absolutely incredible. So I am of the school of putting coconut in my carrot cake. I love coconut in my carrot cake. So I am gonna put in just a couple of small handfuls, like maybe a half a cup. Of, this is just unsweetened coconut, so I don't want to add any extra sugar to this. So we're just going to fold this in really carefully. And the last ingredient that goes in these cupcakes is a little bit of walnuts. If you don't like nuts in your carrot cake, by all means, friends, leave them out. But I love them. Got my little chopper out here. I just pulled these out of my freezer. If you guys aren't familiar with that trick, I love to keep my nuts in my freezer, my pecans, my walnuts, my almonds. All the things, it just keeps them fresh. 
keeps them from going rancid. All right, I'm just gonna push my bowl down here. We're just going for easy this morning, friends, because we have got to get to the birthday party. I need to get these cupcakes cool enough that I can frost them. And I am just gonna do cream cheese frosting on all of them. There is no, no need to make two separate um, frostings. Everybody loves carrot cake or loves the cream cheese frosting. Scooped in here. I think everybody will probably just eat one cupcake, honestly. Got enough to do like one more cupcake. And so we're gonna put this in the oven, 350 for about 10 minutes. Friends, we've got our last batch of cupcakes in the oven. Our last batch of our candy corn cupcakes just came out of the oven. They are absolutely beautiful. We're gonna let these finish cooling down so that we can frost them. Got my carrot cake cupcakes in the oven. That's a tongue twister for me. Let's get started on our seven layer dip. That's the last thing we have to assemble because our onion dip goes together in two minutes flat. All right, so I'm using my favorite refried beans to do this seven layer dip. There's a lot of different versions of seven layer dip. And if you have a favorite of yours, by all means, use your favorite. I am just putting this one together with what I have on hand, because I think it's gonna be delicious. So like I said, just whatever your favorite seven layer dip recipe is, that's what I would use. I am just making mine in the shape of a pumpkin today because as I said, this is a Halloween themed birthday party. So I'm using two of these pouches of refried beans. If you're using canned, it would be one large can of refried beans or two small. And then I'm just gonna use my offset spatula We're just gonna smooth this. And then I'm gonna take a paper towel and wipe off my offset spatula because I need to wipe it off in between because I wanna use my same offset spatula to smooth out all of the layers. And I'm putting this in a, in a round, um, around a tart pan because we are making it in the shape of a pumpkin so I want it to be round. I've got a little bit of this Hatch green chili nacho cheese sauce. I'm not going to put a ton of this because it is kind of spicy. I want just a, just a thin layer of this on our refried beans. Not super super heavy. Just a little. I don't want to make it too spicy. All right, just like that. Grab my paper towel again. Like I said, we're just going to keep wiping off our offset spatula till we get all of our layers put on here. I'm going to push this aside. We're going to go ahead and do our guacamole. These avocados are not super ripe, but they're going to have to work because this is all I've got today. <laughs> so there's not a lot I can do about it. I'm just gonna get them all split and then I'll just get a spoon, I'll scoop them out. Just keeping the uh, guacamole super, super simple. We've got spice from our nacho cheese so I don't need to add any hot sauce to these. They are beautiful avocados. I had to do a grocery delivery this morning because I forgot to grab the avocados yesterday for the seven layer dip. And I also forgot to grab some extra uh, powdered sugar for the frosting for the cupcakes.
All right, let's get our avocado scooped out. You can season your guacamole any way you choose to, whatever you like to put in it. I have a favorite guacamole seasoning. I don't even know if they still carry it. Um, I used to sell Pampered Chef years and years ago, and they came out with a guacamole seasoning that is absolutely phenomenal. I love it. But you can by all means use whatever seasoning you want to in it. I'm just going for ease today because... As I said, it's I'm running out of time this morning and I need to get all of these things prepped and ready to go so I can get in there and get ready myself. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of bottled lemon juice in it. I don't have any fresh lemons in my house right now. That's gonna keep it from turning green on it or brown on us. This is my Pampered Chef guacamole seasoning. I'll look online and see if they still make it. If they do, I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys if you're interested in grabbing some of it. It absolutely makes the best guacamole. It is so good. All right, just gonna grab my little masher, give our avocados a mash. Because we're gonna spread this, I wanna get it pretty smooth. I don't want it chunky like you would if you're gonna just put it on a taco salad or something. All right, let's go ahead and put our guacamole on here. I'm just gonna kind of spread it as evenly as I can. Guacamole is a little bit hard, but we will get it. All right, let's grab our offset spatula, see if we can get this spread out at all. give this a little bit of a stir just to make it easier to get on here and I'm going to drop this on in dollops so I can use my offset spatula to just kind of spread out the so I'm just going to go around put a few dollops on here Let's see if we can spread it out. Okay, so we have our refried beans, we have our nacho cheese, we have our sour cream, our guacamole. Ignore my dogs. Next one we're gonna put on is a layer of salsa. And I think I'm gonna use a spoon. I'm afraid if I dump this on here, it's just gonna splash everywhere. And I really don't want that.
ripping it everywhere. Do one more spin right here. All right, last two things we need to put on our layer is our cheese and our olives. All right, we've got our cheese. We're gonna go ahead and put our cheese on here. We wanna, I'm using a really fine shred on the cheese because I want this pretty much covered. I do wanna leave a little bit of a peek on the edge of what's inside so people can see that all the layers All right, the last thing we need to do is chop our olives so we can make the pumpkin face. All right, we're gonna start making our eyes. We wanna get these in a rectangle sh or a triangle shape as much as we possibly can. You want to make his nose into a triangle. And his mouth. Let's add a few more olives for the eyes kind of use your fingers to kind of shape them a little bit same with his nose Just like that, friends. All right, friends, for the onion dip, super, super easy. It's, I'm making a double batch. It's two bricks of softened Philadelphia cream cheese. It has to be Philadelphia. I've tried it with store brands. It just isn't the same. I don't know what it is. My grandmother has always told me it's just not the same. So I don't mess with the recipe. I go ahead and use Philly cream cheese when I make her onion dip. And you want them softened a little bit so they mix in really well together. Because we're doing a double batch, we want two packets of Lipton onion soup mix. Again, it has to be Lipton's. I've tried it with other onion soups and it's not the same. So I always use Lipton onion soup mix. And last but not least, sour cream. And that's all that goes in her onion dip. This is it. It is the best onion dip. I am asked to bring this to so many things because everybody loves it. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of this container. We're just gonna mix it all. all right, I've got a bell pepper that's looking a little worse for wear. So we're gonna use this to make a little holder for our dip to go on the veggie tray. The rest of the dip, I'm gonna put it in a container and we're just gonna bring it and people can dip it right out of the bowl. All right, so we're just gonna start by taking our top off of our bell pepper. We don't need that. We do need to take out the inside. And I've got one side right here that's not looking super great. So I'm gonna use that side to make my face. I'm using just a little tiny paring knife. I'm 
and it's a pumpkin so it does not have to look perfect. I'm going to clean up this eye right here, just a hair. We're going to give him a little nose. Just like that. And we're just going to make him a little mouth. And there is our pumpkin bell pepper. We're gonna put a little bit of our onion dip in this. All right, use my spatula, just kind of give this one final mix. Like I said, we'll just go ahead and put some of this right here in our bell pepper. All right, there's our bell pepper with our onion dip. Super cute. Put this right in this container and we're gonna take it just like it is. Last thing we need to do is make our cream cheese frosting for our cupcakes. All right, we're gonna get started on our cream cheese frosting. We are running late. So we need to get these cupcakes frosted. We're gonna put two sticks of softened butter in our mixing bowl, if I can get it out of the package. Have you ever noticed when you're in a hurry and you're running late, <laughs> things don't always go as planned. We need two eight ounce packages of softened cream cheese. Of vanilla, and that's about all I got left. All right, we're gonna start beating this. I'm gonna start it off slow because I don't want it all over my kitchen. A little bit of heavy cream. I like making my frostings with heavy cream versus um, milk or half and half. I just think the heavy, the heavy cream gives it a much richer taste. All right, so we're gonna fill our pastry bag. We're gonna use the old Baker's Trick. All right, let's go ahead and fill our bag and let's get these cupcakes piped. down into our bag.
put our candy corn on and I'm gonna do a couple on each one just because these are pretty good sized cupcakes. And I could not get the regular candy corn, the yellow, orange, and white. All I was able to get was the brown. So we're gonna make it work. They're still gonna be super cute. 